Following the conviction of child abductor Yunusa Dahiru by the Federal High Court in Yanogua, Bayosa State, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, has commended the judiciary for a job well done. The Director General of NAPTIP, Julie Oka Donley, who spoke exclusively to PLOS TV Africa, said the judgment is well deserved and will serve as a stern warning to will be child molesters and abductors of minors. I was really heartbroken to imagine a little child being kidnapped and forcefully married to the extent that she even got pregnant in the process. And, you know, I mean, it, it broke my heart. I, I was really unhappy about it. Um, at the time, I wasn't in NAPTIP anyway because I joined NAPTIP in 2017. And um, I understand that the police was handling the case at the time. But my prayer at that time was that it should be diligently prosecuted. And I'm really excited to know that um, the um, accused has been sentenced to 26 years imprisonment. I think that is a very, very good judgment, very sound indeed. Now joining us live is the DG NAPTIP, Julie Oka Donley, and also I have the former Vice Chairperson, International Federation of Women Lawyers, the FIDA, by also State Chapter, Deme Debra Bamoso. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, my first question will go to you, um, Donnelly. Five years after the abduction of Esso Ruru by Dahiru Yunusa, the Federal High Court in Yanogua has sentenced the abductor to 26 years in prison. How do you feel about this? Well, I'm very happy. Um, it's better late than never. I would have uh, expected an expedited trial and conviction. But um, be that as it may, I'm still indeed excited that justice was served. Um, this is a very serious crime against the minor and against humanity for that matter. And I am hoping that with this judgment, it will say, sound, uh, serve as a serious who would be uh, perpetrators, pedophiles, rapists, child molesters, uh, kidnappers, and so on, going forward. Now, Deme, you have been following the case for years. What has been your experience, and why did it take almost 13 years to get justice served? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Very well. Now, I did say you have been following the case for years now. And what has been your experience, and why did you think it took so long, almost 13 years, to get justice served on this case? Okay, um, the issue is that um, sometimes there are some technicalities that um, goes on with the judicial process, in the sense that um, the matter started to know But the good thing is that we had justice at the end. All right, Julie, from your findings, give us an idea of the rate of human trafficking in Nigeria and, and the reasons for this kind of indecent adventure. Well, I would say it's quite huge. Um, we have a lot of human trafficking, especially internal trafficking. I mean, a lot of people just think trafficking um, happens only outside the shores of Nigeria. But I can tell you that the rate of trafficking within Nigeria is indeed very high. We have a lot of tra trafficking, especially child trafficking. Um, for domestic servitude. That is a huge problem. Um, we can buy some of this kind of trafficking, where parents, their children, uh, you know, to use the house help. Married children, and of course, a lot of these um, perpetrators are taking it um, to the next level. They use them for sexual exploitation. They use them as forced prostitutes. You find young girls in various brothels in Nigeria. Then not to talk of taking them out of the country again to, uh, for, for forced prostitution and domestic servitude in places like um, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, and, and the problem is really huge indeed. All right, Demi, I come to you now. What is the state SO Ruru is in now, and how is she coping with the trauma? Oh, well, I must say that it's been very pathetic, you know, for the girl child who had a baby as a child. And then I must tell you that I'm glad by that the judiciary gave justice uh, in a favor to serve as a deterrent to other child abusers of pedophiles. And uh, well, as a young child giving birth to a child is quite unfortunate, but we just thank God for the justice, the fair judgment of the court. 
Well, how is she doing uh, mentally, emotionally? How is S.O. Ruru doing? Of course, you, 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 you will know that this kind of thing can always psychologically affect a child. All right, Julie, I come to you now again. Do you agree that human trafficking should attract capital punishment as being suggested in some quarters already? Absolutely. It's a, it's a serious crime. It's a crime against humanity. I mean, most of the time, um, the victims are killed. Um, the victims are traumatized for life. Some of them never get around it. Some of them become crazy. Some of them come up with all sorts of diseases, HIV, and all, all the rest like that. You know, it's, it's a real serious crime against humanity. It's a modern-day slavery. And, and people who, who find themselves, who engage in such um, crimes, should not be spared at all. Now, quickly, bring us, bring us abreast of some of the moves being taken by NAPTIP to discourage human trafficking. Pardon? Some of the moves being taken by NAPTIP to discourage human trafficking or possibly put an end to human trafficking. Well, we, we carry out lots of sensitization um, campaigns, which is for me, prevention is, is key and is the most important thing anyway. So the lot of means, uh, you know, prevention campaigns going on. We're also working closely with the state governors because trust me, the state governors have a role to play, a huge role to play. They need to provide jobs you know, empower the rural women who happen to be the mothers of these children that are usually trafficked. If their mothers have jobs and have something to do, it will be very difficult for them to give up their children so easily. And of course, it's also important for state governments to ensure that uh, the basic education is free and compulsory. These things will really help because there are lots of ignorance going on there. And ignorance most of the time stems from illiteracy. So when these children go to school, it will be very difficult for them to be trafficked. Well, DJ Naptip, Julie Oka Donnelly, thank you for joining us on the news and for your insightful contribution. Thank you for having me. And also to you, Deme Pomoso, thank you for your time and for your contribution on the news, Deme.